Good morning everyone, I've come over to this little patch of woodland today, it's absolutely beautiful. I came out with the specific intention of photographing bluebells today and I couldn't have asked for better conditions. It's a lovely overcast sky giving nice soft light and there's, there's no wind to speak of at all, it's absolutely perfect conditions. So I've got my camera, I've got my flask I'm going to spend a bit of time here today, so why don't we head off and see if we can find a nice subject to start off with. We'll get started today by photographing this, this beautiful old tree stump here. It's one of these subjects that just screams out to be photographed. I love the way there's, there's lots of lovely green moss all along the top of it. Then you've got the old, the old wood underneath. One or two bluebells just to add a little bit of colour and the dark green leaves. So I'll get the camera set up and we'll, we'll take a shot of this. Right. I've got the camera set up on a tripod here to keep it nice and steady. Um, there's nothing complicated about this shot, shot at all. I'm shooting at a thirtieth of a second, uh, an aperture of f4.5, just to kind of blot out the bluebells in the background to give it a nice, nice kind of soft look and ISO 100. So this is just a very, very simple shot. So I'll take that now and then I'll put it up on the screen so as you can have a look. There we are, that's lovely. I've switched over to my 90mm macro lens now and I'm just going to have a wander around and try and find a nice bluebell that I can isolate. Um, I'm going to get in nice and close to it and concentrate on getting that one pin sharp and throwing all the others out of focus which will give a nice kind of blue hazy background. As is often the case with this kind of subject, there's just so many, there's so many bluebells out at the moment that trying to find one that's really going to work, it, it just makes it so much more difficult when there's so many. I'm, I'm spoiled for choice today. Anyway, I'll just have a wander around and see what I can find. Be with you in a minute. I've found one here that I think could work really well. It's this, this one here on its own. It's pretty much at the top of a, a fairly steep bank and there's quite a range of bluebells going off into the background. The only problem I've got is it's it's a very, very steep bank and it's just one of these really awkward positions to get the tripod set up in. But if you bear with me a minute, I'll get the camera set up and then we'll take the shot. Okay, I've got the camera all set up now. Um, as you can probably tell from the tripod setting, it's, it's such a crazy, awkward position to shoot in. Um, I'm actually shooting up from underneath the bluebell and it's quite a precarious position because it's such a steep bank but I'll, I'll take the shot anyway it's looking quite nice on the back of the camera um, I've got my my 90 millimeter macro lens on um, I've upped the ISO to 400 this time because there's a little bit of movement in the in the bluebell and I'm trying to get that as sharp as I possibly can I'm shooting at f11 and a 40th of a second I'll take that. What I might do after this is take more shots and maybe try focus stacking just in case I can't get the whole flower head in, into focus. So I'll take the shot anyway and then I'll, I'll put it up on the screen like you see it. Here we go. Nice. 
and that looks lovely. I'll put that on the screen now. Well, I found another specimen here that I think could make a lovely shot. It's this one here, if I can reach forward and point to it, this one. Um, it's still got some little bits of morning dew left on it, which make it look really nice. And behind it, we've got these trees and the brown bark of the tree is providing a nice backdrop for the purple of the bluebell and it really shows off the colour. So. I've got the camera set up once again on a tripod and I'll talk you through my settings and then take the shot. OK, I've got the camera all set up here now. I've upped my ISO to 640 ISO. I'm shooting at f16 just to give me a little bit more depth of field and I've upped the ISO just to try and keep the shutter speed up at a reasonable speed so that it won't you know, take capture any movement because there is a little bit of wind at the moment. So I'll take the shot and then I'll put this on the screen as well, let you have a look. Two second timer. And there we go. I love the colours in this one. See what you think. I'm finished for the day now over here. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I have enjoyed making it. I love being out in the woods at this time of year. The colours are just, it's just very, very invigorating. So if you have enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing my channel. That will help my channel to grow. And if you click on the bell notification link, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye for now.